Radio. You're listening to Crypto Current, the only podcast that explores the bold projects, exciting opportunities, and the growing reach of blockchain and cryptocurrency. Whether you've got skin in the game or you're just crypto curious, keep an open mind, enjoy the conversation, and stay crypto current. Now here's your host, Richard Carthon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Crypto Current. Your host here, Richard Carthon, and today got a special guest working on a really cool project called Simba Chain. We have Joel. How are you doing today? Hey, doing all right. Well, good deal. Well, would you mind give us a, tell us a little bit about yourself. Give us some background. Sure. Yeah. My name is Joel Nidig. I'm the CEO of Simba Chain. Um, and uh, about a couple of years ago, me and my co-founder, uh, Dr. Ian Taylor, um, decided to uh, go for this uh, blockchain uh, secure messaging application that the uh, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency that uh, put out. And um, it's kind of like the Skunk Works branch of the U.S. government, um, Department of Defense. And so DARPA um, put out this call. And so we uh, we uh, basically wrote a paper to um, for the grant and then won. And so what we realized is we started developing uh, for blockchain. This is kind of in the early days um, in 2016 when kind of uh, smart contracts and different things were starting to be um, more utilized. And, um, we, uh, we realized it was really difficult to build applications on Ethereum and Hyperledger. Um, and so we, we said, well, what if we could reduce this down to like a few days? Um, and then, Hey, what's, what if we reduce it down to like minutes? Like just instead of taking, we had some pretty, uh, really good programmers at the center for research computing at Notre Dame and they're like excellent programmers, but it took them like a couple months for us to build like an actual application on blockchain. And so, right. so what we set out to do is just build something like really simplistic for people um, with APIs and different things like that. So. Gotcha. Really cool. So, you know, the first introduction into it, uh, well, what was your first introduction into the crypto and blockchain space in the first place? Yeah, it was that, it was that, um, uh, DARPA project, um, for secure messaging and, um, and I I I'd done I'd done a little a little bit in like Bitcoin and things like that, but um, you know, really, really, what started fascinating was me was the smart contracts, and so um, you know, when Ethereum came out, it was really interesting, um, and then also Hyperledger, um, and uh, so we started building you know Simba Chain, and um, right now we support uh, um, several different blockchains. We support RSK, which is Smart Bitcoin. Um, so side chain to Bitcoin, we support Ethereum, Quorum, which is a, a variant of Ethereum um, by JP Morgan. And we also support uh, Stellar. Um, and then we have Hyperledger. Um, we originally started supporting Hyperledger and now we have like a, um, uh, we're going to be supporting Hyperledger Burrow, um, which is an EVM based of, of the Hyperledger uh, um, open source project. Which is really impressive because, as you know, and I've said this on previous podcast episodes that I've had with other guests, the importance of mass adoption to occur in this space is that the technologies need to be able to talk to each other very easily and they need to be able to play nice. Because what has essentially happened is people came out and basically said, I'm going to build this island and you need to talk to my island. And now we need to move to a place where you can build bridges in between all the islands that were created. And it sounds like Simba Chain is trying to be the bridges to connect all the islands. Right, exactly. And really at the application layer, because that's kind of like where we all interact anyway. Um, there's a lot of people focusing on protocols and different things like that. But what Simba Chain does is it's a low-code, no-code platform. So anybody can go on to our platform, log in. It's a freemium platform. So we only start monetizing when you get up to like, you know, a lot more transactions. Um, and so uh, you just log in and you can basically, um, first it asks you to create your organization um, and you can invite other people to join your organization to help you co-develop your application. But basically we're just like this backend as a service um, and we call ourselves a smart contract as a service because we really focus at that smart contract level. Um, and we auto-generate the APIs based on your smart contracts, um, your method calls in your smart contracts. Um, we have a really nice um, smart contract design tool. So you can drag and drop um, basically blocks 
and it auto generates the solidity code for you. Um, so it's really nice and you don't have to be a coder to, to build on it. Um, and then, um, once, once you, once you deploy, um, you can basically take this, this smart contract that you've developed and you can deploy it to any blockchain you want. Um, and that's where our application side comes in where you can, it, you know, and we have wallets and different things like that. So it handles all the signing automatically for you. Um, so you don't even have to learn how to do, you know, uh, crypto wallets or anything like that. We support all that in browser and we don't store the keys of your user. So it's all cached in the browser. Um, we don't, we don't want to get into that. Um, we're storing keys for anybody. So we, we, we don't even um, mess with the private keys. So we just have like an HD wallet if people are familiar with what that is. But basically it's, you control your keys and we don't um, store anything. Which is really cool and needed. So it sounds like you're kind of being an enterprise for, let's say I'm a company, I have a very specific resource that I'm trying to create in this space. Simba Chain would be able to allow me to essentially create it without having the know-how of knowing blockchain development and, and everything else. Is, is that essentially what y'all are able to do? Exactly. Yeah. You don't have to know Web 3.0. You don't have to know um, Etherscan or um, Geth or, you know, all these other things that you have to learn. Um, we also have, um, for the for programmers, we have all kinds of different uh, open source projects. So we have um, our SDKs are all open source. Um, so our uh, we have a, a Java uh, a JavaScript node, JS. Um, we have Python and we have .NET. So you know any whatever your programming language is of choice, you can use Simba Chain. And we have libraries for that. Um, we also have a lot of uh, templates for like iOS and Android. Um, so if you're an iOS or Android programmer, mobile app development programmer, um, we have some Firebase, um, and we also have a Jupyter Notebooks implementation too. So a lot of different things, and we're coming out. One of the cool things we're coming out with is Unity. So if your people are gamers, we'll have a Unity plugin inside the Unity Asset Store, so you can don't have to worry know about anything about blockchain. But um, if you want to have like these cool digital assets that people own. Um, on the blockchain, you can go ahead and build games on that. And so Simba will make that simplify that. That's really cool, man. It's like a full suite of just everything in the in the blockchain world that or, or even the crypto world that if you want to go and like create, it's just a simple plug and play. And, and I don't want to like super compare this to like something else, but the way I kind of look at it is I, I build websites and I use WordPress. And with that, you don't necessarily know how to have how to hard code everything, but you can basically make a website for any kind of business. So is that kind of the application of Simba Chain to where any kind of application of business that you would want to make in this space, you pretty much give the the easy layout, the, the easy UI to be able to go in and, and create it? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we've been, people have even said that we're like the WordPress of of blockchain and, um, you know, it's, uh, good, bad or different. It's a good analogy to say what we're um, what we're building is just making making it very simple, simplified, and and user friendly. is is our whole goal is to be really customer oriented. Um, get people that maybe have been kind of blocked out of this space that really want to get into this space. They don't have to have a huge domain knowledge in the space, but they can actually build in blockchain. Um, and we provide those different networks. So, like I said, we do Ethereum, Stellar, Quorum, RSK. Um, we have Hyperledger coming out and um, some more things. We're even uh, working on Libra. Um, so we're working on the Facebook um, as well uh, um, implementation. It's really cool, man. Really cool. So um, and you've been in the space for about five years now. I'm sure you've gotten to work with all kinds or see all kinds of crypto and blockchain projects uh, while developing this out. Um, what are some projects that kind of has your attention? <laughs> yeah, I think... Um, I know fintech has been a big one for people and it's continues to kind of be the main um, uh, way of direction or people that are looking at things. But I do think that um, supply chain, um, that's where we really focus on um, making that it's very complex. And so it requires a lot of collaboration. And so that's where we've seen the most need for blockchain um, is in the supply chain realm. And that doesn't, you know, that could go for, you know, a government or enterprise, both of them are facing those kind of challenges. Um, but there's a lot of applications and um, big data, artificial intelligence, where people can go and, and actually add value to that and um, maybe get paid for their data. And so that's where I think um, blockchain really adds that 
gives you you can share that you can share your data that you want to and have control over it. And I think that's where blockchain's super powerful. Um, like I said, we're still building the railroad to that. You know, there's a lot of people in this space and trying to f- figure that out. But we thought um, with Simba, we just tried to make it really simplistic so people can bring their ideas and build um, something in really fast. You know, within a couple of days or you know even a few minutes for basic applications, um, they can get immediate satisfaction and see a return on investment for that. So, so that's really, you know, some of the things we've been working on. We're also releasing um, Microsoft Power Apps integration. So we're going to have connectivity on blockchain to over 260 different connectors with Microsoft. Um, we're wow. Microsoft for startups. Um, so that's one of the exciting things, you know, Power Apps makes it, you know, it's a low code, no code platform again, um, where you don't have to be, you could be a power user and not have to be able to code but connect all these different applications together. And um, we think blockchain is going to play a key role in that. So that's why we're um, developing a connectivity tool for that. We also have, we'll have Truffle Suite integration. So if people are familiar, if programmers are familiar with programming in Truffle Suite, now we're going to provide an, an actual API. Um, so we have command line tools that will be integrated with Truffle Suite um, and Visual Studio. So you can um, deploy to Simba. And now you can deploy to any type of blockchain from and, and our blockchain or our, you know, our smart contracts as a service will provide an uh, application program interface and API for those users to, to basically um, make it really easy to interconnect applications. Man, I got to ask because like, you know, that's, that's really impressive. The amount of like connectedness you are doing with, with the, all the development that you're doing, like how big, I mean, you don't have to tell me specifics, but like you must have a pretty good amount of team working on the amount of integrations that it takes to build this. Cause like, I know like the amount of work it takes to do all this connectedness. Good goodness, man. Yeah. So there's 15 people uh, right now at Simba. And so we have, um, we're, we'll probably, we're hiring five more people right now. Um, so we'll be about 20 people coming up here next quarter. Um, but we're going to continue to grow. We just raised, um, just closed on a $1.5 million seed round. Congratulations. And, um, thank you. And so we've, we've totally raised two, our total raise is $2 million. So most people kind of went out and did like ICOs and then started building things. We did not do an ICO. We are a traditional, you know, venture backed company, uh, VC venture capital, um, backed company. And so we went out and just raised private funding and, um, just kind of kind of built it from a grassroots kind of standpoint as opposed to raising a bunch of money then trying to build the product we've just continued we just basically started building the product bootstrapping it with some cust- early early adopter customers and and just kind of looked at it that way so um and you know i that's just kind of the way we decided to do it it's not the best for everybody but for us it's it's worked well well, good deal, man. Well, congrats on that and uh, wish you nothing but continued success. Um, another question I have for you is, you know, I feel like 2020 is going to be a really big year in the, in the crypto and blockchain space. What are some things in the horizon that you think are that you're looking out for that others should be looking out for as well? Yeah, I think um, some bigger things you'll see is probably some more adoption from um, some bigger players. Um, so we've already seen like banks get into the start looking at um, getting into the uh, and then you, now you see like uh, Visa and MasterCard and some of these other players that are in the fintech world um, to to try and look and see because there's a lot of people moving into a digital currency kind of space. Um, China's huge. Uh, obviously, they've been uh, making massive investments into, into blockchain. And so I think we're going to see a lot more um, adoption uh, in that space and some really cool um, applications that come out not only in uh, financial sector, but also in like identities, I believe too. Um, and this kind of all ties back to our goal, which is in supply chain. Um, you know, you need to know who you're dealing with uh, and you need to know um, people want to own their identities and their data. And um, this even ties back to the whole social um, media kind of standpoint. So um, I think all that kind of interconnectivity that, um, really ha- was in the hands in kind of web 2.0 was kind of in the hands of some really big um, players, uh, some big tech companies. Now you're going to see more of a distributed way where people are starting to own, own more of their data. And hopefully that happens with blockchain um, and, you know, not be this pie in the sky kind of idea, but really trying to uh, provide that back to users. Absolutely. And, 
I mean, just like you said, the, the international use case for this is massive. And I mean, you're just seeing a lot of international funds being poured in this to this, especially on the, on the Chinese front. So I, I do think that's something definitely everyone should be uh, aware of and, and looking out for. But Joel, really appreciate you, you know, dropping all this knowledge on us, teaching us about everything that Simba Chain is working on. But what is the final thought that you want to leave with everyone here today? Yeah, go to app.simbachain.com and you can join for free today. And um, you can even invite other developer or other people that um, maybe aren't developers, but want to join your project, then you can um, start building a, a blockchain application in, in just a few minutes with SimbaChain. Perfect. Well, I appreciate that. Um, what are some different ways that uh, people can connect with you? Yeah, so you can go to our website, SimbaChain.com, or you can connect with us on Twitter. Um, we're at SimbaChain um, is our Twitter handle. And so that's the kind of the best ways to start communicating with Simba. Perfect. All right. Well, Joel, I appreciate you coming on the show. And for everyone listening, stay CryptoCurrent. Hi, everyone. Thanks for listening to another episode of CryptoCurrent. For more information on this episode and all of our episodes, please visit us at www.crypto-current.co. Stay up to date with the latest news in cryptocurrency. You'll receive daily emails Monday through Friday that are personalized and curated content specific to you and your interest, powered by artificial intelligence. Are you an accredited investor looking to invest in cryptocurrency? Crescent City Capital can help. Go to crescentcitycapital.com for more information. If you're finding value in our content, please take five minutes to leave a five-star review and a great comment. Also, please make sure to share this podcast with others. Hello, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the quality of this podcast. I can only thank my amazing producer, Andrew DeRitter with DeRitter Productions, who has put this together. If you have any podcast, visual, or video needs, please go to deritterproductions.com. That's D-E-R-I-T-T-E-R productions.com. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cryptocurrent with Richard Carthon. We'll be back with more exciting developments from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency next week. But until then, stay Cryptocurrent. Now.